Hi and welcome to Green Tubers. If, like us, you have solar thermal panels helping to heat up your hot water, I'm going to tell you about blending valves and why it's a really good, cheap upgrade to your system. So what is a blending valve? Well, it's exactly the same as a thermostatic valve you might have seen on your shower in that it combines hot water and cold water to output uh, warm water of a particular temperature that you choose. Now, most of us will have a boiler or like us, you've got, we've got an air source heat pump heating up our water and ours heats up to 52 degrees C. You don't really want it much warmer than that or much hotter than that because it will scold you coming out of the taps. And obviously it costs you a lot of money to uh, the higher the temperature that you heat your water up. Our hot water cylinder, on the other hand, is capable of t uh, storing water of up to 80 degrees C. So uh, what we do is our solar thermal controller would normally be set to something like 50 degrees or 55. Um, we can now increase that up to 75 degrees fairly comfortably, and that means we're getting extra benefits from the solar thermal panels, and the cylinder is able to store that extra hot water. And the blending valve reduces that back to something sensible, like 50 degrees, so that the water coming out doesn't scold anybody. Why is that beneficial? You've got a nice hot sunny day, you store lots and lots of extra hot, hot water in your cylinder, and the next day when it's overcast, you've still got loads left because you're blending it back down and you're making much better use of your solar thermal system. How much does this cost? Uh, well, a blending valve typically costs in the region of 25 to 30 pounds, so they're really pretty cheap, plus the cost of installation if you need somebody to come in and do it. It's a very cheap and worthwhile upgrade if you have solar thermal panels already. I hope you found that useful, and uh, look forward to seeing you for the next one. Thank you.